Hey, man, welcome back to the black market. Yeah, ring the bell. Uh, the bell me? What it mean? I mean, there's money on the floor. OK. I'll yeah, like it. the stock market. The bell go off, it's, it's money on the table, man. Can we cuss? You can say whatever you need to say. All right, bet. Let's say go. whatever you need to say. You got some shit to say that good, is you going to need some curse words? No, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> but we got none other than Mr. Kevin Copeland in here with us today. Kevin, what you got going on, man? Man, I'm just out here uh, trying to change the world, building uh, shipping container homes, uh, as well as multifamily homes, and just doing um, container developments overall. Now, what got you into that? I used to work on the shipping, uh, on the ships, on okay. the merchant seamen ships. And the ships, I would go on shipping container ships. And when I would come home, I would actually uh, build houses traditionally. Okay. So I would come home after six months, um, and build on a traditional house. So you'd be out at sea? I'd season? be out at sea overseas on, on those container ships. Damn. Yeah. So you got the whole game from getting through customs and all that. Yeah, I can I can get you through there. Okay, bet. I can get just, you know, we'll talk <laughs> after the after the show. <laughs> I ain't got shit, maybe some cars. Oh, you legal, you some legal. Cars. You legal. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, some cars, exactly. Uh, high-end race cars from Japan or something. Oh, we can get them over here. Yeah, most definitely. Most, for sure. Man, when you started building houses, I started building houses when I was 23. I taught myself. Word? Yeah. I built my first house in Charlotte, North Carolina. Just straight off the plan. Just... Yeah, I was on a container ship when I was sitting there working. I was like, I called my, my, my girl at the time. I said, yo, when I come home, I'm going to try to build a house. She said, you crazy, but it's not nothing far-fetched for you. Yeah. So I came home. Um, that's before it was navigation. We had MapQuest. I oh, drove man. to Charlotte. With the with map, the direction. quick, with the directions, right? I found a Century 21. I came off the ship with 20,000. Had it all in my book bag. Damn. Walked in the Century 21. That don't look like, suspicious at all. No, nah, it don't. 23-year-old black man, with, backpack full of money. With the do-rag. With the do-rag. I said, yo, I want to buy a piece of land. They said, all right, cool. They showed me some land. We found one uh, for 17.5. I went back to the office. I was like, all right, I got 20,000. They were like, nah, nah, you, you got to go through closing and all that. I said, bro, I got 200000 right now. I want the land. Needless to say, he taught me everything I needed to know about the real estate process. But um, about a month later, I ended up uh, acquiring that piece of land. Yeah. Yep. That's what's up. And then you, how did, what's the next step? You got the land. So this is what happened. Uh, after I got the land, right, I went to the lot and I called the, uh, the real estate agent. I said, what do I do next? He said, you got to get your GC license. I said, what's that? He said, your general contractor license. I bet. I took the test, studied for that, took the test, passed it. Called him again. All right, what's next? He said, now you got to order your, your root dress, your, uh, your eye joist and everything like that um, amongst the, the blueprint that you actually submit for permit. Mm. Once no, I, see, there's a lot of people don't know this. Where you get your blueprints from? I actually designed all my stuff, all my houses. Hey, man, God damn, I ain't know you were yeah. uh, sons, man. No, man, I... I went to uh, Virginia Commonwealth University, okay. and I was uh, pretty good at architectural drafting. Um, I didn't finish college, but I obtained everything I needed to learn. That saved you a gang of bread right there. Yeah, because I'm not in no college debt whatsoever. That's what's up. Yeah. So, Do uh, all your, blue, your own blueprint. Yeah, everything. and I partner. So I design it, I sketch it, design it, and I send it to a um, my architect or a draftsman. Okay. It just digitize it, yeah. but it's pretty much mostly my concepts. And also my friend, uh, AD Modern Designs, he actually does some of my concepts too. Okay. Yup. Keep going. So look. Got the blueprints. So the I got the blueprints, got the plans. The plans have been uh, approved, so I got my permits. Okay. So now I'm on YouTube, how to build a house. Come on, man. Because I just studied enough well, to just get to my GC no, I, might, I might not put this episode out if you're telling me that you done sat here and looked on YouTube and figured out how to build a house, and then there's gonna be a whole bunch of men watching this with they lady, and she gonna be looking at them like, so you mean to tell me you can't build a house? Look, Kevin built a house? <laughs> Look, I built my first house watching YouTube videos. Damn, Kevin. Um, that's now why I feel I took, like I ain't shit. That's, <laughs> no, man, what else I had to lose? I ain't had nothing to lose. You right. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, Cut it on the whole black male population right there. Though. I ain't mean to. Damn, we ain't doing enough. I'll teach somebody if they want to learn. <laughs> now, that's the game right there. Yeah, I'll teach you if you want to learn. I got a seminar coming fall of this year, too. 
Okay, uh, where's it? It's gonna be um, in Atlanta. All right, bet. That's all we need to know. Bet. So get back to the process. So look, YouTube. So I'm um, YouTube and how to build a house. Um, the first thing, of course, you gotta do is dig your footing. Yep. Uh, I went to uh, Home Depot and I got two shovels. Come but on, I was bro. gonna dig. It. I'm telling you, you the did story not think you should dig the footing by yourself. Watch, watch, watch. So. It lasted for about maybe three hours before I was too tired, so I hired a crew to come dig the uh, dig the footing, the trench for the footing, right? Had the concrete guys came, poured the foundation, poured the footing. Um, then I found a Mexican to build the foundation wall. So once I did that... See how they have us hesitant to even say that? We want to give much love and respect to all the Migos who be helping us yeah, with these projects, bro. Especially my guy Vic. We, are, we appreciate y'all. Exactly. So look, uh, once I got the foundation wall done, um, I went to Home Depot and found some other Mexicans and uh, asked them... <laughs> And asked them, like, if they would come over to the property and give me an estimate to frame the house up. Uh, the best. They're the best. That's what we shit. thought. That's what I thought. Maybe not that crew, but yeah. one, uh, one day. So old head, uh, black <laughs> dude, he pulled up on me, and uh, he came out there, saw what I had going on, looked at the blueprints, and he had an assistant with him, dude named JJ. So I'm peeping his assistant like, yo, when he leave, man, you're going to change numbers real quick because the old head was already trying to rip my head off. You could tell. Uh, of course. So he went in the car. Me and JJ chopped it up later on. I picked up JJ the next day. He said, boss, man, what we doing? I said, we're going to frame the house today. Man, he said, what we going to frame it with? Where the nail guns at? I said, what's a nail gun? He said, the nail guns that you put the, the nails into the wood. I said, man, look, I don't got no nail gun, man. I got two hammers and a, and a box of nails in the back seat. He looked back there. He said, boss, man, we're not building the ark. We're trying to build a house. So needless to say, I went on Craigslist. Yep. Got me a powder actuated uh, nail gun. And that was the start of us building the very first house. That's what's up, bro. Facebook Marketplace. It's your uh, air tank. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. I got the one with the, the gas cartridge, so I ain't even need that tank. Oh, Cause yeah. I ain't had no electricity. Yes, see? That's I didn't know you thing. needed a, a, a temporary pole out there when you building the first house. Anybody know anything about building some houses, though, would tell you, digging some footing, that is some hard-ass bro. work, bro. That is some back-breaking labor. Yeah. I, used, I done had all kind of jobs when it comes to construction, demolition, like... From the ground up, yeah, bricking, you know, like labor, all that shit, hanging mixing concrete, rock. hanging flick, uh, hanging sheetrock, shit. I own sheetrock in that first house, sixteen hundred square feet. Shit, I don't know what's worse, hanging it or taking that shit out. Hanging it. <laughs> it took me, two, it took me about a, about two weeks to hang it. I couldn't walk afterwards for about four days. Oh, your body locked up. My back, my back wouldn't flex. Up. Exactly, your knees and shit, I didn't man. Know. I didn't know. That's why when you see the guys who do that shit for real, they have a whole lot of equipment that make you be like, what they need that for? Oh. Man, I get it. <laughs> yeah, man, I get it. So then you flipped the whole script. You, did you sell the house? Or you yeah, still? I sold it. I listed it. Since I built it myself, I said, man, I might as well try to sell it myself. Right. I went to the Goodwill down the street, got me a pair of uh, Dockers and a polo shirt. I stood out there because they, they said baked goods make a person feel at home and buy the house. I went and got some, I went and baked some cookies in the man, house. Man, shut the... Hey, what, what can't I'm you do, you not. Man. I lied to you not. I went and baked cookies. I stood in the living room, my hands behind my back, trying to look presidential. Three people showed up, two of them came to the wrong house. Damn. Needless to say, after that, I shut everything down. I listed it with an agent on a Thursday. We was on the contract by the following Tuesday. That's what, so was it hard to sell the first house that you built? No, not necessarily, because I hired a professional. I'm not, I can't do everything by I'm myself. Saying, That's like, what I'm saying, you weren't attached to it at all? Like, and I don't care nothing about that. I'm trying to get a... My I'm hard work. I'm 23. I started at 23, and I finished when I was 25. I was trying to get the bread back. I feel you. Trying to get the bread back. So... How'd you do on it? Huh? How'd you do as far as... I did decent, I think. I didn't do my numbers. I know I sold it for 166. I walked away with 142. And I bought the land for seventeen five, and I think I put mostly my labor in it. So I built it for about eighty to ninety. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I didn't make a whole lot of profit, but I gained experience that helped me build, learn how to build shipping containers too. Yeah. So, so what was your next project after that? My next project after that was a project in uh, Raleigh. I took it up a notch. 
I built another traditional, but it was um, 25, yeah, single family, 2,500 square feet in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, how did you do on that one? I did decent. So um, you got the experience at yeah, this point. Did, I did you keep decent. the same crew? I cut the time down by six months. Okay. And I sold that one for two twenty five. And um I think I walked away with about sixty five thousand on that one. So that was that was sweet. That was so, sweet. So, so now you got the urge. You you in yeah. the game. Now I ain't scared to build nothing. Right. Yeah, so Needless to say, I did that cycle, going on the ship, coming on, building the house. I did that for about 12, 12 to 13 years. Okay. In 2018, they put shipping containers in the, in the building code. So I was like, man, if I work on container ships, I come home and build traditional houses, why not try to merge my two professions and see what happens? And you already got the plug. You should know somebody. You know what I'm saying? I know a little something. You know so, something about that. Yeah, and I wasn't scared of nothing because I done did everything from cutting my finger off Building that first house to sleeping in my car for months at a time. He, like, <laughs> man, look, I know how to make a $5 Little Caesars piece of stretch for a week. Damn, that's that's some shit I don't want them to even know how to do. <laughs> that shit ain't even good the next day, I know, so. Right? <laughs> no, I know that right? shit ain't but shit on day five. Everything I came off the shit with had to go into the house. That's crazy when you said you cut your finger off. Yeah, I the look. tip of the zone right Damn, they put the shit back on. Yeah, because it was held on by this little piece of skin. But I was back working two days later, painting with a hand behind my back. Shit. Uh, you got to want it. Huh? Exactly. Now, so, now, how has the shipping container game been, though? It's going good. Um, Is it still like the, at the beginning stage yeah, of that? it's though? still at the beginning stages. And I'm fine-tuning my strategy and my target audience. Um, I think a lot of education still needs to be had with uh, shipping containers. Um, because a lot of people think they're cheap to build. They're cheap to build if you're willing to downsize. Yeah. You have to make a sacrifice. It costs as much as a house. Costs a little bit more. Shut up. The way I explain it, I tell them like this. You can go to Home Depot once again, find guys across the street, ask them how many, how many of them people know how to do framing. Everybody gonna raise their hand. They ask them same crowd of people, how many people know how to do welding, metal fabrication. That's a that's a profession, so they charge for it like it's a profession. Exactly. So that's why it costs a little bit more. Um, the savings within shipping containers is on the back end. Uh, like, for instance, uh, Airbnb. Airbnbs uh, have two categories, traditional and special. Containers going special. You can charge, I think it's up to 25 to 30% more if it's a, in a special category. Containers are the number, number two search thing on YouTube besides kits. So it's super popular and it's bubbling right now. So that's where container homes make the most sense. On a smaller, with a smaller structure, or if you're doing something like building an apartment complex, well, the building is gonna be appraised based on the rent roll and not the location. Mm -hmm. So that's where it makes sense. Sir. That's what's up, man. So you were talking, you said that um, you were able to, you got some information about the shipping containers being up the code. What are some of the differences for the shipping containers as far as building code? So the thing is, a lot of people, when I tell them the price of one single container, which is anywhere from 4500 to 5500 they say, oh, I can get it for 1300 Yeah, but the state of Georgia doesn't allow you to build with shipping containers older than four years old. Mm. Um, so you want to use what they call one trips. The only time they were on the ocean is when they came from China to the United States. So it's funny, you'll order a one trip and get it for 5,500, or you can try to get a new container that's uh, about 8,500. They still gotta say, make the same trip across because they manufacture in China. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the largest, that's the biggest uh, code uh, that you don't wanna violate because potentially they will check that name, that plate on the shipping container that has the manufacturing date. Damn, that's crazy though. You think once you buy it, you just buy it. But it's gotta be, a, like you said, the code, it's yeah. gotta be a certain age. Yeah. That's that's dope. And even with the, the aesthetic of it, you don't wanna build no container house with a bunch of dents in it. Yeah. Like I care about that type of stuff. And ain't nobody, if I'm doing, if I'm building houses for, for resale, that's not gonna be aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's gonna fuck the profit up. Yeah, so. So on your first joint, your first shipping container house, bro, how did this shit turn out? That's the one that ended up on AGTV. 
Word. Yeah. Bro, you you either like the coldest nigga or like the luckiest nigga that I didn't ever had on here. Bro. Luck and hard work, I guess. <sighs> Luck ain't shit when preparation meet the opportunity. Though. Exactly. So you killing it out here. I'm trying. It's still, like I said, we still in the beginning stages. It's still a lot of education that has to be uh, learned. Um, but for the most part, um, I'm doing all right. I got a partnership with uh, Pusha T. Uh, we're building the development in um, the North Carolinas. Uh, also, I got a development that's going to be going up the top of the year in Ghana. Yeah, now, see, now that's hard. Yeah. yeah. We, that's got what, 20 we got some money out there. 20 acres? We got 20 acres. Now, how many shipping container homes could you put on 20 acres? That's a loaded question because you want to have it centralized with some type of Spacing. space or something like that. But I say to put for an acre, you could put a... Two bedroom, one bathroom, which is 640 square feet. That's 16 by 40. Um, you could probably put eight on one acre. Okay. So whatever that is times 20. Yeah, see. There you go. And the area is called Shot Hills. That gone uh, right outside of Accra. Okay. Yeah. That's where the paper is. Yeah. So look, have you built like one of them big ass shipping container mansion type shit? Like they'll be on AGTV? Yeah, the one I built. Oh. It's uh, 1,900 square feet. And the second one I built, which is around the corner, um, that one is actually 2,400 square feet. Now how does this work? People reach out to you and be like, I want you to build me one, or they just hit you and buy one? Usually people um, mm -hmm. contact me through the website, uh, cargobykvn.com and they will inquire about purchasing. Um, but we're actually about to uh, redo the website, and it's going to be more of a e-commerce-based yeah. look to it where you can just click and pay. All right, I'm going to go on now because I want to get in on the Pusha T deal. I mean, I, I know y'all got big paper. I can get two of them. Let's roll. I'm, I need two of them. We can do it. You know, one in America, and then give me one over there in Ghana. So I, when we go over there, I'll already be, be set up. Trust me, I got you. Don't be, hey, you heard it now. Hey, I don't talk because I got lips. All right, I got it. And I get a discount because you was on the show and shit. We can do that too. Yeah, exactly, yeah, man. We can do that look, too. Let them know what the, what the website is, how they can reach out to you via social media, all that. Uh, the website is www.cargobykvn.com. Uh, my Instagram is KVN the Builder. Also, YouTube. Uh, YouTube is Cargo by KVN. And the professional page on Instagram is uh, Cargo by KVN. So, yeah, check me out. Check us out, because I just bought two of them bitches. All right, fuck it, then. You can sell me one and a half. You said one and a half? One and a half. I got you. Oh, based on my discount. Cargo by KVN. Black market. We out of here. There's money on the floor.